Welcome to Florida. So I'm going to give you some fast facts to begin with. So the nickname of Florida is the Sunshine State. Statehood is 1845 and it became the 27th state. The capital is Tallahassee. The biggest city is Jacksonville. The abbreviation for Florida is FL. The state bird is a mockingbird and the state flower is an orange blossom. Now for a little bit of history. The first people to live in what is now Florida arrived more than 12,000 years ago. They hunted small animals and gathered wild plants for food. Over the centuries, Native American tribes lived in the area. Spanish conqueror Ponce de Leon sailed to Florida in 1513, searching for gold and silver. But he didn't find it. But he did discover fertile farmland and lots of coastline. Excellent for shipping. No wonder Great Britain, France and Spain all tried to establish settlements in Florida. In 1763, the British took control over Florida from Spain in exchange for the land that is now Havana, Cuba. But just two decades later, as part of a peace treaty that ended the Revolutionary War, Spain took charge again. That didn't last long. New US settlers began flooding in. And in 1821, Spain gave up Florida to the United States in exchange for Spanish rule over Texas. Florida officially became the 27th state in 1845. Today, Native Americans called Seminoles still live in Florida. The people came from a combination of tribes who migrated to the area in the 1700s to avoid conflict with the Europeans and with other tribes. Why is it called Florida? Florida's original Spanish name is La Florida, which means Peace of Flowers. Some historians think Ponce de Leon chose the name to honour the blooming flowers he saw there or in tribute to Spain's Easter celebration called Pascua Florida, or Feast of Flowers. Now for a little bit of geography. Florida is a peninsula that means completely surrounded by water. Its northernmost edge is connected to Alabama in the northwest and Georgia in the northeast. Take a swim off Florida's west coast and you'll be in the Gulf of Mexico. Dive in off the east coast and you'll be splashing in the Atlantic Ocean. Off the south coast, you'll be swimming in the Straits of Florida. The northern upland part of the state is hilly, but you'll find caves and sinkholes in the northern western Mariana lowlands. The coastal plains contain sandy beaches, islands and coral reefs. In the south, you can canoe through the famous Everglades National Park, Swampy wildlife-filled marshland that covers 1.5 million acres. Off the southernmost tip of the state is Florida Keys, a group of about 1,700 tiny islands called Archipelago. Want to island hop? No problem. A causeway of 42 bridges connect the various keys. Now a little bit about the wildlife. Florida's wildlife include mammals like armadillos, black bears and the Florida panther, reptiles such as alligators, crocodiles and snakes, sea life like manatees, sea turtles, dolphins and whales, and birds such as raptors, owls, cranes and Florida state bird, the mockingbird. More than 300 types of native trees grow in the state, from apple and cherry trees in the north to mangrove forests in the swamps. Tall sawgrass is a common sight in marshes, though Florida's most famous plant may be the orange tree. The orange blossom is the state flower. Natural resources. Many believe that Ponce de Leon was the first to plant orange seeds in Florida. Three centuries later, newly built railroads allowed growers to ship oranges across the United States. Today, the state provides oranges for most of the orange juice sold in the country. Sugarcane, fish, petroleum and phosphate 
used in fertiliser, are also top natural resources from Florida. Now for some fun stuff. Florida can make an excellent vacation spot thanks to its 663 miles of beaches and, of course, Disney World. The 40-square-mile park in the city of Orlando has more than 60,000 employees and welcomes more than 62,000 visitors per day. The state can take you out of this world, literally. You can see an actual rocket launch from Cape Canaveral, where rockets have been taken off since 1950. Florida isn't just a great place to visit. Many have called the state home. Author Ernest Hemingway chose to live in the Key West. Zora Neale Hurston, a member of the Harlem Renaissance, author of Their Eyes Are Watching God, and collector and publisher of African-American Afro-Caribbean folklore. Also lived here, singer Ariana Grande and former Attorney General of the United States, Jano Reno, was also born in Florida. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support.